Hey guys, this is Winch here. I want to talk about some news with Battlefield 3 part to the Armored Kill release, in particular the server issues and uh, these new patch notes that might be coming out um, or that are published right now on Symptic.com. Um, first of all, you can see the new DICE servers here. They're vacant. Um, they've quadrupled the amount of servers on the PlayStation Network and not many people are playing on them still. Here's my server and it's normally vacant as well. Um, I'm just not seeing anybody on servers a lot of times and you know I, I try to tailor the, the, the game modes there's my maps and stuff like that but I, I don't know what game modes people like because I try to put in there what I like to play and uh, maybe that's just not what people like so let me know what you guys like to see in terms of server um, setups but I know one of the hot topics here lately is a, is the server issues in particular the private servers there's a lot of them out there the issues of getting banned and kicked for no reason at all or the excessive rules on it. I don't put any rules on mine and I don't kick and ban people. So, but still, I just don't get players on it. But it is frustrating when you're on those servers and they got all these rules and stuff like that. I think that's ridiculous. Um, but also, you know, I didn't like on the, on the DICE servers when there's only like a 100 ticket match and the match is over in 7 minutes. You know, I don't like that on Battlefield. I like to have at least 200 tickets. That makes things go a little bit... Uh, you know, get a little more action, I think, when you start feeling out the match and you start warming up. But um, I've got a range of clips here for me playing yesterday, and, and a lot of these clips were actually on dice servers. I eventually got into some that were, were starting to fill up, um, and a range of weapons and, and uh, game modes as well. So I hope you enjoy this uh, clips, because they're not just average clips. They're, they're better than average uh, moments, I'd have to say, in terms of the, the compiling of these videos. But... Um, I want to talk about some of the patch notes that are out here. Um, typically, whenever we were about to get a uh, DLC content release, uh, they're going to put a patch out as well in conjunction with that to save cost uh, in terms of timing with DICE. Um, and th this was on Symptic.com. I checked the forums on there every now and then. And, uh, you know, this is apparently difficult to find, but I don't know why it's not being published. But I guess the uh, close, or the, excuse me, the Armored Kill DLC will be released for PlayStation 3 on September 4th. Is what I'm was what I'm hearing pretty consistently now. Um, in conjunction with that, there'll be a patch either the day before or a, on the day of. I'm not sure which one, but I want to talk about in this patch. I'll give you a link to uh, the notes, but I want to hit the highlights of it. The things talk about the things I'm seeing. You know, in particular with Battlefield 3 and the multiplayer, um, and we'll go from there. Um, before the first clip you saw before this one was me running with the M417. That gun's going to get an increase in recoil, uh, which it needs. That gun's just incredibly overpowered, if you ask me. Um, I mean, I really fear that gun more than any gun in the game whenever I'm going against somebody either close quarters or long range. I mean, the suppressive fire of that gun's incredible. You know, that constant uh, fire rate, 20 rounds in the clip. I mean, it's just it, it, any kind of nerf they can give that gun would be a good thing. But the main thing I want to talk about. Um, is a is the assault class uh, weapons in particular like the AEK M16 uh, F2000 stuff like that. They're increase they're reducing the reload time of those weapons, so they're they're giving them a buff. Um, I think that's one of the best things about those guns is that it forces you to reload after every kill, and that's typically when I take advantage of going against players like that because I'm usually taking cover, hiding from their bullets, waiting for them to exhaust their rounds and get them while they reload. Um, so if I'm really, ha not you know, if, if I have left less time to address that, that's going to be a frustration to me. And I think those guns are already incredibly powerful. So they got to be real careful about doing anything with those guns. I know they're going to be increasing the recoil in the most popular gun, the M16A3. Uh, I'm all for that. But again, I think, you know, as a support class player, I'm pretty accustomed to handling recoil. I think people can uh, adjust to that still. So those guns have a high damage, high fire rate. They're going to have a low reload time. I mean, they're going to be deadly in close quarters, it, and the, they already are. It seems like e not even shotguns can take those guns out, so I'm a little concerned about that. Um, also, with the P90, they're increasing the reload time of that, thank God, because we all know that gun's overpowered as hell. Um, the UMP45, that gun is getting a damage increase, which it needs something because nobody uses that gun because you got the PP2000. But they're also buffing the PP2000, which, again, people don't use, but... Uh, I see high level advanced players like 100 level colonels using that gun a lot because they know what that gun's capable of doing. So, but they're increasing the damage of that at mid range. So, uh, I don't know. You know, <laughs> these are kind of concerns I'm seeing here. But the SG553 you're seeing right here, this is already a very underappreciated, underused gun. I've already got, uh, I mean, I've made 
reviews of this weapon, montages with this weapon. I've got 1,200 kills already with this gun, and yet they're buffing it again. I mean, it seems like every patch they buff this thing again and again and again. Still nobody uses it. Um, but they're reducing the horizontal recoil on this weapon, and you know, you'll see me... This gun's just reliable. Um, it's, it's consistent. There's not much recoil to it. You know, with the heavy barrel, it's got incredible range, which I'll demonstrate in the next clip. Um, it's a great weapon. I get a lot of kills with this gun. I just pull off amazing shots with this gun. So um, I strongly encourage you guys to take a look at this gun even after this patch or prior to it. Um, in terms of, uh, there's some random stuff here about the uh, support class. Not much in there other than they're trying to help the MG36 out to reduce the vertical recoil of that. They're also giving extended mags finally to the MG36, the RPK, and the QBB95. And the QBB95 already has 75 rounds in a, in a drum, so I don't know how much more it's going to have, maybe 100 rounds. But that'd be good to have because those light machine guns like the MG definitely, desperately need anything they can to increase their effectiveness. But um, also, uh, the mortar. Um, you saw me get killed by that here in a clip. Uh, they're increasing the blast radius and the damage of the mortar at range. That's good. They, you know, I think the mortar is very, it's a very useful tool that nobody can use because it's too weak. So, and here we are, I'm out shooting a sniper with an SG-553. So, mortars could be a little more effective. Uh, RAM stuff about the various weapons again. G3 will accept a M320 grenade launcher now under mount. That's good. Um, claymores are going to be more effective against infantry. That's good too. I mean, that's the point of support again is having that capability. Um, and they're going to stick around after you die as well. Uh, I mentioned about the M417. They're also increasing the damage. I've already you know, coined the, this gun, the best gun in the game, the ECWR. And uh, a lot of people, when it first came out, talked about nerfs. I was, I was on board with that too. And, and they're actually going to do just the opposite. They're buffing it, giving it more damage. Um, and I, I can't recall what weapon that is. I think it's 6.5 uh, millimeters, something like that. Or millimeter. So, and I also remember them saying that they're reducing the penalty range for certain rounds. And I believe, let's see, 6.5, yep, that's, uh, that's in there as well. So they're also reducing the range penalty of the ACWR with the suppressor, which I strongly recommend that. They're increasing the damage to make it more effective at close range. So basically, they're, this gun's going to have two buffs on two fronts if you use it, you know, if you use the gun first of all, and you put a suppressor on it, which is what I recommend. So again, that gun's going to be absolutely deadly, and uh, uh, we'll see how that goes after the uh, the release. AS Val is getting a reduction vertical recoil. I believe this is necessary. Oh, look at this little tip right here. You want to come at me? All right, I'll leave a little present for you. You know, C4 is more than just clo blowing up vehicles. It's, it's more than that, so uh, watch out for me when you're chasing after me. But... AS Val already has a 0.4 vertical recoil, so anything they can do to reduce that, I think, is a great thing. Uh, it, it, it's lately it seems weak to me, and I don't know if it's because I'm having difficulty getting bullets on target or what. So anything they can do with that weapon will help. Um, and just the last few miscellaneous stuff here as these clips wind down, um, and they're increasing the damage of rockets uh, against infantry and uh, as well as helicopters. That's a good thing. The, the, the good stuff I really like to see is that Allied grenades have a different color now, thank God, because you know, we know how difficult it is to differentiate the two in close quarters combat, you know, who's nice who, they all, or uh, grenades who. They're also increasing the, uh, the effectiveness of uh, melee nice at, at uh, melee range, I don't know what that means. Um, also, the reducing aim assist. I know you PC guys like to harp on this. Uh, we'll see what that's like on console. Uh, I never really noticed aim assist anyway, even with it on. And uh, the last thing I really like is that you'll be able to select between the RPG and the SMA now if you have at least 100 kills with either one. So I like that because I always prefer the RPG sights over the SMA. So with that being said, a lot of changes here again, but subtle changes as well. But we'll see how they change the uh, feel of the game until the next patch after that. Here's a nice long kill. I mean, how many meters is this with an m60 bipod i love this uh, clip here uh please like and subscribe to the video if it, if it helped you out guys leave your comments about what you think about the patch notes and also what you'd like to see about server settings in particular on my server and on um, uh, private servers in general but uh look for the new armored kill content here in less than a week now for playstation 3 guys i'll have video as soon as i can thanks for watching guys